Many people are familiar with Dubai's initiative for 25% of all new construction projects to be 3D printed by 2030, and B6 has gotten ahead of the curve, implementing this new technology on their own headquarters. Watch this video till the end to see what the interior of this space looks like. Check out my full discussion with Luai Kurdi, the tech lead at B6-3D at the link below. In Dubai, we, we've built, to, in addition to the head office, which was there for 50 years in Dubai, we've built two additional buildings. And there we, we saw a chance uh, to, to implement one of the applications of this 3D concrete printing. Why don't we go ahead and 3D print the whole facade? B6 itself, we, we have an innovation program, uh, young engineers, uh, professional engineers. B6 3D, 3D concrete printing uh, was one of those ideas that was chosen. B6 3D, the, the actual 3D printing labor studio was opened in December 2018 uh, here in Dubai. To 3D print a portion of their own headquarters demonstrates a level of commitment to automated construction, largely motivated by Dubai's initiative to push construction in the automated direction. We are working with a robotic arm, so we, we produce prefab uh, factory. So we 3D print uh, a large uh, structure, could be one and a half tons of concrete in our studio. So we, we heavily depend on uh, expertise from our other engineering department, uh, how to lift it, um, how to prop it, uh, how to stack. It. In the case that we are building a multi-layer uh, wall, for example, of three or four uh, wall segments, 3D printed wall segments, we need to understand how do we, how do we connect them together, uh, what type of uh, layer we are going to use to bond them, uh, you know, how to lift one uh, on top of the other. If we were just an independent department uh, by ourselves, there's a lot of questions that we cannot answer by ourselves. You know. Parametric design by itself is, is basically uh, getting rid of the, of the traditional manual uh, design, sketching and modeling techniques um, and more turning into more of a para parameters based design. So basically Grasshopper is made in a programming language called Python. Instead of actual codes, you are uh, dealing with nodes, like visual, visual nodes, which represent those codes, right? On the inside of this building, you get a very clean, modern and industrial look, which will serve as office space B6 will use for decades to come. The quality and rate of these projects is always improving, and the automated construction space is becoming more interesting by the day. Subscribe to my channel to keep up with the exciting new developments in this space. Here's how B6 was able to reuse some of the excess material resulting in zero waste from the 3D printed portion of the project. So we managed to take uh, some of the waste and uh, uh, run it into gravel uh, to be able to utilize it instead of throwing it away. The engineer, new engineers and, and, and designers to an architect even to understand the potential and, and the restrictions of, of this technology. If you're an architect, designer, or in the construction field, hopefully you too are considering the implications of this technology.